Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This is my 2020 MacBook Pro and it comes with a touch bar. Now, a lot of you have been complaining about how the touch bar is pretty much useless to you. You don't use it on day-to-day -day usage, uh, usage and you think that it's just another fad that will disappear with the next MacBook. Uh, but Apple has decided to keep it in here because they know that it's useful. And I have been a skeptic, but now that I have it, and I've actually put in some effort and spent maybe 15, 30 minutes trying to figure out how I can make it more useful, I've found that it can be more useful. So let's go through how to make it more useful for you. So this is a typical touch bar, right? So it comes with that mute button, the volume slider, the brightness slider, and then that icon can be, you know, it, it def defaults to the Siri icon, okay? I've edited it. Now, a lot of you actually don't know how to edit the touch bar because they've made it difficult to find the settings for it. So I'll show you how to get there, okay? So this is the, these are the all the options you get when you extend the touch bar. Nice thing is when you open up a uh, window, you know, the touch bar will show more options. So, for example, I don't have to slide up here and click on the uh, search bar. I can just click here and then start typing or, you know, I can go ahead and um, go to home or favorite that or add a new tab, etc. So whatever app you open, it does give you more options. So, for example, you know, I open up my messages. It gives me uh, default sort of reply options and you know, whatever app you open up, it gives you more options. So for photos, they'll give you add to all of them. So shortcuts, right? Okay, so let's go to short desktop. All right, so how do I make it more useful? All right, search, go to system preferences. And let me X out some of these windows here in the back. Okay, so you go to system preferences and you look for touch bar, you don't find it, you're like, crap, I guess I can't edit it, wrong. All right, if you type in touch bar here, obviously it'll find that setting for you and take it, take you there. That's how the, that's how the Apple system is pretty much. You search, you know, in the right window and you can find your settings. If you search touch bar here, you are not gonna find the right setting. Okay, you have to go into the system, then type in touch bar, it'll take you to the right place. But, so that you don't have to do that, I'll show you where to go. Go to extensions, scroll down and there's the touch bar all right you do not have any installed extensions i don't know what extensions you can download i guess there must be some but customize control strip all right so these are the things you can do so by default this is what you get right you get the siri bar uh siri icon i don't use siri that's why i switch it over to the show desktop button here but you can here are all the options you can slide it to right mission control spotlight play pause night shift you know all kinds of other sort of control center settings that you can drop down there if you extend the bar i'll show you the settings for the extended bar right say you never use um you know mission control then you can take that out and put something more useful down there for you um there's lots of options to kind of put quick actions uh if you have some shortcuts shortcut set you know things like that um okay so that's sort of the built-in customizability of your touch bar to make it more useful. I would recommend that you go through and um, go ahead and pick some of these things so that, you know, change some of these things so that you find it more useful. But there's something else that you can use to make it even more useful called POC, P-O-C-K, POC. So it's not gonna show you how to install it. So just search Google for P-O-C-K, P-O-C-K, POC for MacBook and you're gonna, you know, it's probably going to be the first link. And this is the icon for POC. POC. You know, it's down here too, because I have it open right now. I'm going to just double click this and it's going to pop it right up, right? So by default, this will sort of what your, what your touch bar will look like. The reason I like POC is, you know, a lot of the work initially when you turn off your computer is to, you know, click on messages, uh, Chrome, whatever, whatever you have, you don't even have to use your touchpad, right? You just go here and click Chrome and Chrome opens right up. You know, you don't have to, you click on Word, Word opens right up. So obviously makes your life a lot easier in that um, you can open apps up a lot quicker. You know, click on calendar, opens right up. Um, 
Park has a lot of settings. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some. I'm gonna go to preferences and here you go. So, you know, if you wanna hide the control strip, it takes away the control strip. I like the control strip, I'm gonna keep that. Um, you know, dock has other, uh, park has other widgets too. This is called the dock widget and then these are the settings for that. Um, you know, you can sort of uh, refresh it so often um, we can show more of the windows of the how many windows do you have open for the app things like that uh, so if you have like say three word windows open if you click the word button it will actually show you the three windows open and you get to pick which one you want to open up um, you want to hide finder because you don't use really you didn't really use that you can do that so you know it takes away finder um, you want to show running apps it will show you just the running apps so yeah, sometimes that could be useful if you're using multiple different things and you want to you know just sort of navigate between those two you have those two open then you don't have distracting apps and you can just click on one of those when you have the other one in a full screen window and then that one opens up um, you can hide persistent items so items that you cannot remove off your dock they will be removed uh, i have hidden trash because why would i need the trash can in my dock i'm not sure um so open finder and directories that's something that i have clicked so i'm gonna unhide the finder so if i go into um finder it actually open up the default the directories in there and i can go straight into desktop documents whatever um, so I don't have to, you know, sort of click one more time because when I open up the finder, you invariably have to click on some um, folder, right? Because that's all you got. But um, I guess it opens up into recent. So in any case, so it gives you that sidebar on the finder down here so you can click the directory you want to go into. So that's another sort of shortcut. Uh, and it gives you, Park gives you a control center widget, a status widget, now playing widget. Those are the things you can, you gotta download them separately, but this is the setting for all of them. I haven't figured out how to fix this launch at login thing. If you can see, um, it just kind of takes that away every time I X out of it, but eventually I'll figure it out. Um, there's other settings you can sort of see here. Um, um, you can edit this, you know, slide up and down to put in the, if you want to drop the escape key down there, you know, you can put it down there. Um, if you want to drop the now playing, you know, next to it, you can do that. You can drop in the control center. Um, I don't, I don't want to put any of that. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Uh, I don't know what the status thing is, but you, oh yeah, here we go. You can drop in the status bar just like that. So actually you don't have to um, download more widgets. You just download pop once and it actually gives you all of these things. I am going to drop in the status bar in there, just for curiosity's sake. <laughs> I'm going to try it out, see what it does. So here's the full bar, you can still see that. You can drop the status bar in there, it'll tell you you connected to Wi-Fi, battery status, you know, Monday, August 13th. You have it, the touch bar screen is on, why not use it, right? Um, make your life a little easier. So that is how you make your touch bar more useful. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, comment. And if you would like me to make more videos about certain aspects of your MacBook, please let me know and I'll be happy to oblige. Thank you for watching and have a good one.